Oh, you can't get in here, can you, dude? Oh, it sucks to be you, man. Yeah, I feel terrible for you. Yes, I do. Not. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and uh, we have hit level 10 by mining a few iron nodes. We have uh, this much iron mined up here, almost four full stacks. And uh, we are now level 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Tech Tree. And we're going to go to Tier 2 and learn the Crafting Bench. And then we're going to learn the Anvil. And we're going to learn the Stone Furnace. And the Iron Pickaxe. We still have 9 points. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're going to want the Longbow. And the iron knife the iron axe probably next fireplace cooking station short range cupboard skinning bench uh, mortar and pestle we're gonna grab that and food drop okay so this is the stuff that we need for taming Okay, let's hold off on that for just a little bit longer. We still have five more points. We're going to want an oxide dissolver and an oxygen bladder. Uh, we don't technically need a rain reservoir yet, but a water skin would be okay. And the cooking station, probably short range radio, I think. Yeah, this is what we use to get missions, which we'll do eventually. And, um... I'm just trying to think what else is really essential. Crushed bone is pretty good because then we can make epoxy from that, but we need to learn about... Oh, herbalism bench. Yeah, we want the herbalism bench so that we can make the antibiotic uh, tonic, which is much better than the paste that we currently have. Okay, so that spins all those points for the moment. Talents. We have two talent points available and one solo point. Let's go to the solo point first. And we're going to start working on stamina. Then we'll go to these talent points. And we're going to go back to combat. Um, let's actually look at husbandry for a second. Because this is for taming. Taming equipment, cra crafting costs. Percent yield from foraging. Saddle crafting cost. Tamed creature, water consumption, stealth damage. I haven't really looked at these yet. Um, yeah, I mean, those are probably definitely useful, but I don't think they're super critical for us. So I think we're going to continue uh, down the archery tree. Chance to fire an additional arrow. Critical damage with bows. Critical damage with bows. These were arrow speed and accuracy. Let's, let's take an accuracy point. And a 5% critical damage with bows. So we're just going to keep working on archery for now for talent. Okay, good. So that gets all up to par with that. Now what we want to do is we want to make ourselves a... Uh, we, want, we need to make a crafting bench, which looks like we already have everything we need for that. Okay. And then from there we can make those other crafting stations that we just learned. And once we can, you know, get up into iron and stuff, we're going to be in a little bit better shape than we have been up to this point. Though, I, I know I've said this a couple of times now, but we are, we're doing a lot better than I was expecting us to do, which is a good thing, of course. All right, let's take our crafting bench. Oh, ow, we're on fire. Not a good thing. Water, 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 water. Whew. That hurt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just pretend that never happened. Well, there weren't any worms down there either at the moment. Okay, yeah. So don't back up into the fire, OG. Not a good idea. Now, let's try this again. We'll take our crafting station, and we're going to set it right about here. All right, fantastic. Next thing we need to do is we need to make an anvil bench. No, actually, we need to make a stone furnace. So we need 80 stone because that's what we need to smelt with. 
I do not have 80 stone on me, so we're going to have to go out and get 80 stone. What time is it? 6.44. It's almost morning, so yeah, I think we can manage to do this. All right, let's just be careful here. As always, we were working on this boulder over here. There's another jaguar caught up on the thing, just like before. What is up with that? All right, let's stay away from the jaguar for the moment. Let's go this way. And we'll beat more on this stone. 80 stone coming up. Oh, crap. We got a jag. All right, let's get back in here. All right. Can he not get in here? That would be great if he can't. He's kind of glitched a little bit. Oh, nice. He can't fit in here. Fantastic, man. I thought the Jags would be able to fit in here. That is good news for us. Very good news. I wonder if I wonder if the wolves can't fit in here now either. All right, let's put this meat in here. We're going to uh, refresh our berries and our bacon. Our meat's in pretty good shape. All right, well... If Jags can't fit in here, that changes things a bit, doesn't it? it? Sucks to be them, man. Let's pull this other one over here too. Oh, here he comes. Oh, you can't get in here, can you, dude? Oh, it sucks to be you, man. Yeah, I feel terrible for you. Yes, I do. Not. <laughs> that is good news. If it's the same with wolves, then we have a very safe location for a base. Okay, great. Great, great, great. All right, let's get back to uh, working on the rock here. Oh, I heard something else over there. Sounds like maybe another Jaguar? Is he stuck? It's like he's stuck. All right. Well, sucks to be him. Yeah, he must have been stuck on that tree. Thank you, tree. Bone gatherer. Okay, now let's try and get 80 stone. We keep getting interrupted by jaguars. Okay, we got 80 stone. Let's make ourselves a forge or furnace, I guess. Gonna have to do that back in here in the thingamadoodle. stone furnace one stone furnace coming up we're also going to queue up an oxide dissolver no we're not because we're going to be out of material probably wood we do have a couple stockpiles of wood here though so let's grab one of those oh, worm action mm. 
another worm further back. Let's not worry about him right now, though. Okay, we're going to set the forge right here. Things getting a little tight here, but that's all right. And uh, we're going to load you up on wood. We're going to grab all of this iron out of here. And start smelting iron. Fantastic. All right. Now we needed um, we need to make the oxide dissolver. Let's grab this wood too. And we want to make the herbalism bench. And we want to make the longboat. And we want to make the water skin. Well, we want to make the oxygen bladder first. We're going to need rope too. We need silico ore for the stone, or for the mortar and pestle, sorry. So let's make that. All right, oxygen dissolver thingamadoodle. Let's put that right over here. And we need to put oxide in there and the bladder thingy. And then that will fill that up with air for us. And we can go even longer before we have to worry about air. Uh, so we just have to get some oxide in there. Oh, well, and sulfur too, right? Yeah, sulfur for fuel. Let's grab the mortar and pestle, and we're just going to put it right, right, right there. Okay, good. And we need to replenish our torch. Let's make another torch. We almost want to have one spare torch in our inventory. You don't want to be without a torch, especially when you live in a cave. All right, this bow is a nice upgrade. So basically, our current bow has no extra bonus. This one has 25% projectile damage to it. Uh, so it is a nice upgrade. We no longer need this piece of crap. So actually that piece of crap saved our life many times. So thank you, Bo, for your service. And then we're gonna put this over here. And this we can use to make stuff after we get a few more points to learn the blueprints that we need for it. Fantastic, okay. Um, I'm going to put the silicone in there for the moment. And let's see here. we got a little bit of stringy meat. We can put the stringy meat in here. I'm going to take this stack of charcoal and put it in here. Uh, we're going to need some charcoal in there. We're also going to need some charcoal in this thing. And we're going to want to put the yeast in the... Medicine thingamadoodle. Ah, oh, doggone it. We just got pneumonia again. Okay, so... Oh, and I think we need silica in there, too. We're going to have to go mine some more silica. No, I don't have time for storms, especially a severe one. All right, you know what? Before that storm gets really bad, let's get out here and get some oxide so we can get our bladder filled up. I think I saw, yeah, I saw more oxide here. In fact, there's a silica there, too, we should try and grab. Uh, we're going to take this because we got the stupid pneumonia thingy. Completely tanks our stamina. Alright, we also need... We need some, um, sulfur as well. Let's grab a little more silica here. Okay, let's see... We have sulfur. Uh, man, now we're low on water. All the crap happens all at the same time. 
Alright, let's go get some water. Got a little bit better bow now. Look at that. We one shot that bastard. Yeah, I know water's low. I'm working on it. Take a drink and run away! Ouch. Alright, we got nailed twice by the poison. Nope, not a third time. Okay, the third one missed us. Okay, put the oxide in there, but we need... Uh, we need whatchamacallit. We need sulfur. Is there any sulfur around the corner here? Yes, there's some right there. Hurry, 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 before the storm gets really bad. Now the oxygen's low. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Come on, stamina. Ain't nobody got time for this. Alright. Let's scooch back in here real quick. Okay. Now, if we put the sulfur in here, it should start filling up our oxygen bladder. Nice. Whew. Okay. Let's put this meat in there. Okay, oxygen bladder's full. And now what we can do is stick that right there. And it gives us air. In fact, here, let's top it back off again. Later on, we'll be able to make a, a you know, more advanced air canister, but that one will make things a little bit better on, uh, better for us for the time being. Okay. We're making good progress here, peeps. Making good progress. Let's get, um... The silicon in there and what we want to do now is we want to what do we need to make the anvil because that's the thing we're going to need we're going to need two more thingies of wood right, let's pull this wood out of here i'm going to split the stack twice and just put that back in there and then we're going to put this wood in here. Okay. And then do we have how many ingots do we have? Okay, good. We have that many ingots. Now we can make the anvil. And this is what's going to allow us to make iron pick, iron axe, iron knife, and significantly improve our quality of life. Put you right here. Put the iron in there. And I think iron pick is probably the first thing we should make. So we need some more wood over here. Let's just grab all that wood for now. Okay, let's make an iron pick. Finally, no more stone pick. We, uh, we'll destroy that and put the iron pick in its place. Probably the next thing we should do is make an iron kniffy. Uh, so first we gotta make some nails. So let's make a nail. Stack of nails. Now we can make an iron kniffy. And no more bone knives. Destroy the bone knife. And we also wanna make an iron axe. We have enough stuff to do it. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. And no more stone axe. All right. That is good, good, good. So we have upgraded our knife, our bow, our axe, and our pickaxe. That is great. Okay, looks like the storm is about done. 
Uh, we've made the mortar and pestle. We need to make a cooking station, so we need stone and four iron ingots for that. We have 14 in there. And we need more stone, right? Cooking station. Yeah, okay. Let's get some more stone. Let's try to see who's out here. Nicer pick, man. Oh, nice. We got a level two. We'll take it. Let's make a cooking station. Okay. And no, don't stand on the fire. Not a good idea. We'll put the cooking station right here. I don't want it to be... Uh, whatever. It's going to have to be that way. Okay. So, um, corn and animal fat will allow us to make creamed corn. And, uh... We can't do anything with squash. If we can find some watermelons, we could make some fruit salad. And we can also make animal fat in here, which we need for other things. Okay, I think we've made everything in here except for the water skin. Let's go ahead and make one of those too. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the, these water skins because they leak, but they're, you know, they're a little bit better than not having one, I guess. Okay, so let's go down here. Batch of worms to kill, probably. Oh no, don't be doing the light, weird light thing on me. Okay, he did. I'm gonna knife you. And we will shoot you and shoot you. Look at that. One shotting these guys. I told you we'd be one shotting them soon. That is fantastic. Okay. Crap, we got pneumonia again. Didn't it just kill you? Must have been a different worm. I'll tell you what we're going to do with our next points. Um, where am I at? Cannot see a doggone thing. We're going this way. Let's get out of worm territory. Okay, what we're going to do with our points is we're going to go to Tech 3 and we're going to learn Antibiotic Tonic. Let's see, we have two more points. What else do we want to do? Alright, place Pop Billy Stove would be really good to get, actually. Um, hedgehogs. Food troughs. Yeah, we, we'll definitely be doing stuff with animal taming, but we're just not quite there yet, I don't think. We could do flour to make <coughs> flatbread. Crop plots we're going to need to do at some point. Um, it's just a matter of what's the highest priority right now, you know? Uh, I think pot belly stove is going to be a high priority. That's going to help us make much better food. And then probably... Let's go with epoxy. Okay, talents. We have one talent. We want to put that into chance to fire an additional arrow. What's this? Chance to slow on hit. 15% critical damage with bows and crossbows. Let's go for that. Okay, we are going to get pretty darn good with this bow here as time goes on. Here, let's deactivate you for the moment. 
And you got some food for us. Speaking of which. Okay, now what we can do is we can go over here and we can make this. Well, we got to make the epoxy first. All right, so to make epoxy, we need sulfur and tree sap. All right, to make tree sap, we need sticks. So let's grab a couple stacks of sticks. No, not there. In here. And we'll make some tree sap with all those sticks. That is crap. And then we need to go get some more sulfur. Alright, so let's do that. There's another Jaguar up there. Let's see if we can take him out. Ooh, look at that, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Where was that sulfur? I don't think we got all of it, did we? Or did we? There was some sulfur over here. Alright, let's go butcher that jaguar. And we have to keep looking for sulfur. Oh, Komodo's coming in. He's investigating the carcass. And he doesn't see us. He sees us now. Oh boy. Alright, another Komodo coming in. Alright, let's get our arrows off of this guy. This bow shoots a lot straighter than the other one, so I gotta get used to it again. Alright, now the emus are coming in. And a wolf to eat my jaguar carcass. You doity ra- oh! Something's another Komodo. Okay, he's not aggro on us anymore. Uh, where'd that wolf go? Okay, well, here, I'm stuck. Get, get unstuck. Right, let's at least go get the bones off the jag. Oh, there's the wolf right there. Yeah, let's take him out. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay, we gotta find some sulfur. That's a bear. Yes, indeed it is. Let's go this way and look for sulfur. I mean, we could probably kill the bear, but I don't want to take him on when I have pneumonia. And the sulfur is what's going to cure us of this pneumonia. You see how it tanks our stamina so badly? There's lots of oxide up here, which is good to know. But we need the yellow stuff. There's some right there. Some of it's kind of clipped into the mountain, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of it. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? There we go. Alright, let's head back to the cave.
There is a hog. More bacon, baby. Oh, I can't see him now. I wonder if the hog can fit through the cave opening. I think he's... Oh, look at that. Nice. Stealth attack. Okay, let's get a butcher quick before something shows up and tries to eat him and me and at the same time. Ten pieces of bacon, yeah. I'll take it. Okay, let's go. Now, if I can get the pot belly stove made, I can make a higher quality type of bacon. Uh, but first thing we need to do is we need to get the sulfur in here. And we need to make this epoxy. And while that's going on, uh, the pot belly stove, how, much, how expensive is that? It's not super expensive. Okay, let's grab this epoxy. Whoop, don't step in the fire. Over here. And now we can make antibiotic tonic. How many can we make? 25? No, we didn't need 25. Let's make... Let's make five. See, the nice thing about this stuff is it'll... It'll instantly cure us from pneumonia, whereas the paste only cut the duration down in half. So this is much, much better. And pretty much essential if you're going to live in a cave like we are doing. Okay, so, you know what, though? We're only at 160 minutes left on our current pneumonia, so I might let that one wear off and save the elixir for next time. All right. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, you need to make bacon. I'm just going to cook up the bacon normally. And we'll put... No, actually here. We're going to take this meat here. And we're going to put it in here. And we're going to turn that into animal fat. Which we need to make further dishes. That bear's outside, isn't he? Okay, what time is it? It's 14.52. We should go do more outdoor stuff. And then at night time I can do uh, mining. Because we've got to do a bunch of mining in here. We'll let that... Okay, that's turned into fat. Um, you know what? Screw it. We have 100 minutes left on pneumonia. I don't want to go out and take on bears and stuff with pneumonia. And I don't want to wait. So let's just go here. And we will consume this. And that should cure us completely of our pneumonia. Which it has done. Fantastic. We'll keep the rest of these in here for now. Huh. Alright, how many... Uh, bone arrows do we have? 15. Let's make some more of those. We can make... We'll be able to eventually make flint arrows. There's no sticks in here. We're going to have to get some sticks. Uh, I put them all in here, didn't I? Oh, there's a few sticks in here. That sulfur we're going to put in here. All right, let's make some more of a few more of these and go out and about and do a few more things here before it gets too dark. We don't need the bone knife. We'll put the wood, extra wood into here. And I'm going to actually put some of this stuff in here too. Uh, we don't even need to carry stone anymore at all. Not for repairing purposes anyway, but we're still making bone arrows. So we'll continue to carry that. And we need uh, we need some leather too, so let's take a stack of leather. And we'll get sticks outside. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can kill this bear that's out here menacing us. There's another wolf. Oh, there's a jack right there. Look at that. Look at that jack. Boom, baby. All right. Now, is that wolf? Where's that wolf at? Can't see anymore. Okay, let's get this jaguar butchered.
Very nice. Go to next level. We are up to 12. Level 15 is going to be the next where we can going to be able to do some more pretty cool stuff. Um, all right, we need some sticks and we need we need to get a little more oxide, which we can. Go jaguar. Is he stuck in the tree again? I think he is. Yeah, he's stuck in that tree. We should probably leave those trees there. <laughs> they might not put us out. Oh, he's unstuck. Alright, he's also aggroed or aggravated that one too. Let's get him butchered. Okay, let's see if we can get this other one. stuck also he's dead uh wait is he What's going on here? I thought I saw him go down. Now he's dead. Yeah, having these down trees are actually quite handy. Okay, we need some oxide. Let's grab that. And if we can find some corn somewhere, we can make some cream corn. If we can find some watermelon, we can make some fruit salad. This is all gonna be a little bit better food than what we've been uh, working with here. Let's leave that Komodo alone. I wanna look for some more sulfur too. So let's run there. Okay, there's some sulfur. There's a pig over that way. I haven't forgotten that we have some points to deal with, but I want to take advantage of what little bit of daylight we have left before we do all that stuff. Okay, there's some wheat, so we could grab that and turn it into flour, but I haven't learned flour yet, but we could do that. And then we can make flatbread, which is pretty decent food too. Go to the tech tree, we would need flour. I want. I also want crushed bone. So why don't we do flour, crushed bone, and flatbread? For this time around. Talents. We have one solo talent. Let's put that into more stamina. And the normal talents. Um chance to slow. That's a pretty good one. This is more critical damage though here. Resource cost of craft. Yeah, I don't really care about that. In the long run, that doesn't really matter. 10% chance to craft an additional arrow or bolt. What's this do? Craft to both have increased durability. That's somewhat useful. And different, uh, less wear rate. Less stamina consumed. Less resource cost. Yeah, I don't care about the resource cost. Chance to immobilize. Homing. Arrow strikes bleed your target over time. Beast damage from crafted arrows. Okay, 
Let's, um... I'd like to get to this critical damage down here, but I also want to increase our arrow speed, so let's work on this arrow speed. All right, we have run out of water because um, our bladder's out of water. Let's run down to the river here. There's a croc down there, but if we don't get too close to him, we'll probably be okay. Famous last words, right? And it is getting dark out. There's a jag right there. Let's avoid him for the moment. And I'm just going to go down here, take a quick drink of water, and GTFO. Okay. We're in pretty good shape. Let's go back down around this way. There is a wolf right there. And he dead. It's probably a Komodo. Let's just forget about the Komodo. Well, he hasn't forgotten about us. Electrical storm. These guys are tough. All right. Okay. Last thing we're going to do before we go into the cave for the night, we're just going to get a little more wood. Uh, and we need to hurry. So let's just cut some wood off of this tree. Even though these down trees have been actually quite useful. These are iron axe now, which is a lot better than the stone axe. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go. Fantastic. Um, so let's see. We never, we never actually got the wheat. <laughs> I learned all the stuff for it, and I didn't get the wheat. We were kind of preoccupied, though. Okay, we're gonna turn this into more animal fat because we're gonna need lots of that, and we will throw that into there for now. We want to make sure that our oxygen thingamadoodle has maximum sulfur in it and maximum of those and let's top off our air bladder okay you are fine for the moment we have plenty of stuff to make more tonics but we already have four so we're good to go there and I think what's going to happen now is I am going to do a whole bunch of mining. Let's just throw that stuff into there. We have an extra torch, so we're good to go there. We are going to want to make some rope at some point. Um, oh, I did learn the bone stuff, didn't I? Okay, so... Uh, let's grab... Here, let's stop you. So turn off. I don't want you burning fiber. I want you burning wood because then you make charcoal for us. Split the stack. Okay, let's grab all of that stuff out of there and put it in here. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, we were looking for bones. Because I can make epoxy from bones. But we're also still using bones for arrows, so we don't want to burn all of the bones up.
Nice. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think we're at a good stopping point here for the episode. We just got pneumonia again, yay us, but we can fix that easily with this tank tonic. And you just made fat, so you can sit on that. And that's not doing... Oh, that's got more stuff in it, too. All right, let's grab all of this out of here. Uh, you can't smelt. I think I'll put the rest of this stuff in the crafting bench for now. Alright, looking good. That is loud. My goodness, that's loud. Okay, let's take one of those to get rid of our pneumonia. And we're going to top off our berries and our meat and our bacon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mining all the iron and copper and coal, maybe the gold, uh, in this mine uh, or in this cave overnight. And then when we start the next episode, we will go from there. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.